Grok 4 just dropped, and it might actually be too smart. XI's latest large language model is breaking benchmarks again, and while that's big news in the world of artificial intelligence, it's only part of the story today. Because while everyone's looking at the brain, Hugging Face just revealed a brand new body for it. And this body comes in the form of a $299 AI robot called Ricci Mini. It's small, it's expressive, it's affordable, and it's designed for anyone to code, control, and experiment with. In Python, no less. If you've ever wanted your own desktop humanoid robot, this is the closest thing we've got to a dream come true. Now don't worry, we're going deep into the Ricci Mini robot in just a second. But keep your ears open, because after we explore this little genius, we're circling back to Grok 4, which just might be the foundation for embodied AI models that actually understand the world better than most humans do. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here with two massive breakthroughs. Ricci Mini, this $299 AI robot from Hugging Face is insane, and XAI's Grok 4 is too smart to believe. Because what Hugging Face just launched could literally change how an entire generation interacts with AI. Let's go. Hugging Face, known mostly for leading the open source AI movement with Transformers and Hugging Chat, has officially stepped into the robotics game. And their first move? Launching a tiny, expressive, programmable robot that's already blowing people's minds. Ricci Mini looks like something out of a sci-fi animation. Only it's real, it fits on your desk, and it's built for one thing giving everyday people access to real-world AI robotics. Not just researchers, not just engineers, everyone. Fully programmable in Python and with JavaScript and Scratch support on the way, Ricci Mini is designed to be accessible. That means coders, kids, artists, hobbyists, teachers, literally anyone can start building with it, teaching it, and maybe even bonding with it. And that's where the magic starts. Because this isn't just about code running on a screen. This is about code becoming character. Algorithms with physical presence. AI that gestures, tilts its head, and reacts to you in real space. We've been waiting for the iPhone moment of robotics. Hugging Face might have just delivered it. Let's talk about what this robot actually is. Ricci Mini is a small humanoid torso built with an expressive head and two functional arms. It doesn't walk, it doesn't dance, and it doesn't clean your dishes. But what it does is arguably more important. It provides the full expressive power of a humanoid robot, compacted into a form factor that fits in your home or classroom. It can move its head, it can wave its arms. It can simulate a shrug, tilt in curiosity, nod in agreement, or hang its head in shame. That level of expressiveness makes all the difference when it comes to human-robot interaction. A robot that moves like it cares immediately becomes more than just a tool. It becomes a companion. Now let's talk about why this matters. For years, the world of robotics has been locked behind walls. If you wanted to get hands-on with a humanoid robot, your options were slim. Either you had to build something from scratch, spending thousands on servos and controllers, or you had to work at a university or a research lab with access to million-dollar machines. That just changed. Ricci Mini gives you a platform to experiment with AI in the physical world. Want to create an assistant that reacts when you speak? You can. Want to train a model to mimic gestures based on emotional tone? That's possible too. Want to build a robotic character that performs in an art installation? This is the perfect canvas. And here's the kicker, it's not just hardware. The beauty of Hugging Face stepping into robotics is that they already own one of the world's most powerful ecosystems for AI models. They've got the Transformers library. They've got Hugging Chat. They've got datasets, tokenizers, optimizers, and a massive developer community. Now imagine combining all of that with a robot that can move and speak. This is where things get really interesting. Hugging Face isn't just selling a cute robot. They're laying the foundation for an embodied AI future, where your language model isn't just generating text, it's responding with presence. It turns its head when you talk. It raises a hand when it's unsure. It gestures while it speaks. Suddenly, AI isn't just something you talk to. It's something that talks with you. And if that doesn't sound like the beginning of something massive, just wait until Grok 4 enters the conversation. We'll circle back to that in a minute, because first, 
it's worth appreciating how this moment is changing the entire robotics space. Ricci Mini represents a shift in philosophy. It's not about building the most advanced robot possible. It's about making the most accessible one. Something that anyone can afford. Something you can unbox, plug in, and start building with. It's a Raspberry Pi moment for robotics. Only this time, it moves. Students can use it to learn about computer vision and reinforcement learning. Developers can prototype new interaction models. Educators can finally bring robots into classrooms without blowing their budget. Creatives can build performances where the robot is the performer. This isn't a closed loop device. It's open source to its core. That means everything from the mechanical design to the software stack is transparent, remixable, and built to be shared. Hugging Face knows their community. They know what makes developers fall in love with a platform. And they're giving it to them in a way that's frankly brilliant. And while the robot itself is small, the implications are massive. The second this robot is integrated with a capable LLM, it stops being just a puppet. It becomes a mind with a body. A cognitive entity that can think, gesture, and respond in a human-like way. And now we come back to Grok. Because while Hugging Face is building the body, Elon Musk's XAI is building the most formidable brain we've seen so far. Grok 4 is a monster. According to insiders and early testing, it's outperforming nearly every other model on a range of cognitive tasks. It's better at logic, better at planning, better at multi-step reasoning, and more importantly, it's being trained not just to generate answers, but to simulate intention. This matters, because the future of robotics isn't just about how a robot moves. It's about why it moves. It's about intention, awareness, and context. You tell your robot to get something from the table. It needs to know what something is, what a table is, what you're referring to, and how to act appropriately without bumping into furniture or breaking a glass. That level of reasoning is what Grok 4 is being trained to do. And here's where it all converges. Grok 4 is being built for real-world applications. Tesla is already testing it with the Optimus humanoid. But what happens when a stripped-down, open-source version of Grok finds its way into Ricci Mini? What happens when the robot on your desk starts understanding you? Not just reacting to code? We're talking about the real beginning of personal robotics. Forget Siri. Forget Alexa. This is a robot that looks at you when you speak. A robot that shrugs when it doesn't know the answer. That learns your habits, responds to your tone, and gestures while it explains something. That feels more like a coworker than a gadget. And again, this isn't some 2030 prediction. This is now. Grok 4 is already out there. Ricci Mini is already shipping. Developers around the world are already integrating open source AI with robotic bodies. We're not waiting for the future anymore. We're building it. And the best part? It's not just billion dollar companies doing it. That's what makes this moment feel so powerful. It's not just about AI getting smarter. It's about AI becoming yours. Customizable. Embodied. Accessible. You don't need to wait for Tesla to build the perfect humanoid for your home. You can start building it yourself, on your desk, today. You can write a few lines of Python and make your robot react to your voice. You can plug in a vision model and have it recognize your face. You can train a local LLM and have conversations that feel alive. And once these systems get smart enough, they don't just become assistants. They become collaborators. That's where this is heading. Intelligent, embodied agents that can help you brainstorm, organize your tasks, fetch something from another room, help your kids with homework, or just sit quietly on your desk until they're needed. And when they respond, they do it with expression, with movement, with a presence that feels real. That's the power of embodiment. It's what makes Grok 4 more than just a model. It's what makes Ricci Mini more than just a robot. Together, they represent the convergence of two seismic shifts, the rise of powerful cognitive models and the democratization of expressive robotics. This is the new frontier of AI, not just large language models floating in the cloud, but agents with bodies, emotions, context, and control. So here's the big question. What are you going to do with it? 
Will you build the next personal assistant? The next educational companion? The next generative art piece that moves and speaks? You can. You've got the tools now. Hugging Face gave you the body. SI gave you the brain. The rest is up to you. And while Ricci Mini and Grok 4 are redefining what's possible on your desktop, other companies are out there pushing humanoid robotics into jaw-dropping new territory. We're talking robots that transform, balance like martial artists, and even act like real human assistants in live environments. And just recently, three major breakthroughs dropped, each from a different company, each pushing the boundaries of what's possible. These aren't concept sketches. These are real, physical machines doing things that would have sounded like science fiction just a year ago. We're starting off with a company that just unleashed two mind-blowing machines, one of them based on ancient Chinese mythology and the other built to maneuver like a martial arts master. Then we'll shift to a major upgrade from Limex Dynamics, whose latest humanoid is moving smoother and smarter than ever. And finally, you've got to see what PND Botics just revealed, a humanoid robot assistant performing real office tasks with such fluid motion, it's hard to believe it's not fully autonomous. Agabot didn't just release one update, they dropped two, and both are seriously impressive. Let's start with the X2N, which is clearly Agabot's most ambitious humanoid robot to date. Inspired by Neja, a warrior figure from Chinese mythology known for speed and firepower, this robot isn't just walking, it's transforming. The X2N is capable of two completely different modes of mobility. In one go, it walks on two legs like your standard humanoid robot. But with a single motion, it shifts into wheeled mode, rolling forward with incredible speed and precision. That combination gives it something we haven't seen before. The adaptability to move through complex spaces with either balance-based walking or rapid wheel-based cruising. This is huge. Why? Because traditional bipedal robots are still relatively slow and energy-intensive. But wheels? They offer speed and efficiency, but usually sacrifice the ability to handle rough terrain or stairs. The X2N solves both problems in one body. And it's not just switching modes, it's seamlessly transitioning mid-movement. In the latest demo, the robot effortlessly walked toward an obstacle, dropped into wheel mode, rolled around it, and then transitioned back to walking to finish the route. Smooth, fast, functional. But wait, it doesn't stop there. Agibot also dropped an update to their Lynx CX2 humanoid robot. This one focuses more on agility and balance, and honestly, the improvements are hard to ignore. In the new footage, Lynx CX2 shows refined joint articulation, more fluid motion, and tighter center of mass control than we've seen before. One demo shows it stepping through narrow spaces, adjusting its weight in real time, and even responding to soft shoves without losing balance. And here's where it gets even better. This robot's motions look almost human. The arm movements aren't robotic. They're graceful. You can see the torque control improving. The balance algorithms are working overtime, and it shows. It's clear Agibot is closing in on something big. So between the myth-inspired, transformable X2N and the agile, real-world-ready Lynx X2, Agibot just became a serious contender in the humanoid robotics race. But the momentum doesn't stop there. Because if you thought that was impressive, wait until you see what Limax Dynamics just did with its CL3 humanoid. This upgrade isn't just cosmetic, it's a whole new beast. Limax Dynamics just dropped a brand new showcase of its CL3 humanoid robot. And if you've been following their work, you'll immediately notice the difference. We're talking about significantly better stability, dynamic balance, and real-world mobility. The old CL3 already showed potential, but this version? It looks like something that could walk straight into a warehouse or a disaster zone and start working today. Let's break down what changed. First off, movement fluidity. In the new demo, CL3 is shown walking across uneven surfaces with a level of confidence we haven't seen before. The feet adjust in real time to shifts in elevation. The knees bend more naturally, and it's not overcorrecting or wobbling, it's adapting on the fly. The robot also showed off quick reactive balance control. During one segment, engineers gave it a small push while it was walking. The response? A fast, calculated adjustment of the legs and arms to keep its posture upright, just like a human catching themselves after a misstep. This is critical. Because in the real world, 
Robots don't operate in pristine labs. They walk across cluttered floors, through unpredictable terrain, and alongside unpredictable humans. So seeing the CL3 move with this kind of real-time reactivity shows just how far Limex has come. But that's not all. There's a new joint design visible in the arms and hips, allowing for more fluid motion and a greater range of movement. In one segment, CL3 reaches out to grasp a lightweight object and hands it over to a human operator with impressive precision. That level of coordination isn't just eye candy, it's essential for collaboration. It's how robots will be able to safely and efficiently interact with humans in co-working environments. LimX Dynamics is clearly aiming to make CL3 field ready, and they're getting closer by the day. If they continue progressing at this rate, we might see CL3 deployed in logistics, security, or even healthcare roles sooner than expected. But let's keep this momentum going, because the last update? It might just be the most human one of all. Get ready to meet Adam, a humanoid assistant that's eerily natural in how it moves, and even more intriguing in how it works. PND Botics just released footage of their new humanoid robot named Adam, and it's making waves across the robotics community. Now let's be clear, Adam isn't fully autonomous. Based on what we're seeing, it appears to be teleoperated, meaning a human is controlling it remotely. But even knowing that, the execution is incredible. Adam is shown in a workplace environment, performing assistant tasks like navigating between desks, picking up and organizing documents, interacting with objects on tables, even mimicking basic human gestures while responding to virtual cues. What's catching everyone's attention isn't just what Adam does, it's how it does it. The motions are clean, the arms don't jerk around, the gait is smooth, the head turns in ways that suggest it's aware of its surroundings. In fact, if you were to see this demo without knowing it was teleoperated, you might assume it had onboard AI running the show. This is the power of good motion mapping and responsive control loops. It doesn't matter if there's a human operator behind the scenes, what matters is the interface is so refined, the result looks almost autonomous. And that's a big deal, because telepresence robotics, robots that extend human presence into remote environments, are expected to play a massive role in everything from elder care to disaster response. Having a robot that feels human in both appearance and motion could be the difference between adoption and rejection in real-world settings. Now, Adam isn't the first telepresence humanoid, but it might be the most realistic we've seen so far in this form factor. One interesting touch? Adam's hands. They seem to have multi-degree articulation, allowing for detailed manipulation of objects. In one clip, Adam adjusts the position of a stapler, picks up a pen, and presses a button on a keyboard. These are micro-movements, but they show the finesse of the system. Now imagine this same robot being controlled by a remote worker halfway across the globe. Suddenly, your office assistant could be on another continent, but function as if they were right there beside you. That's the future PND Botics seems to be aiming for, and Adam is a strong first step toward that goal. So let's recap. Agabot kicked things off with two incredible humanoids. The X2N with dual mode mobility inspired by mythology, and the upgraded Linksy X2 showing tight balance and coordination. Then LimX Dynamics stunned us with a significantly improved CL3 that looks ready to take on complex real-world environments. And finally, PND Botics introduced Atom, a telepresence humanoid so fluid, you might mistake it for a fully autonomous assistant. Three companies, three radically different takes on the humanoid future. And yet, all of them are pointing toward the same trend, Robots are getting faster, smarter, smoother, and more integrated into human spaces. And here's what's wild. We're only halfway through the year. If this is what the state of humanoid robotics looks like in July, imagine what we'll be seeing by December. The pace is accelerating, and every week feels like a new leap forward. So if you're fascinated by the rise of intelligent machines and how they're beginning to walk, roll, and work alongside us, you'll definitely want to stay tuned because something big is coming. And these latest updates, they're just the beginning.